Hi, my name is Matt Keyboard. I'm an applications engineer with the High Speed Data Converter team here at TI. Today we're going to talk about some of the advanced features of the DAC portion of the TSW1400 GUI. We've already got the GUI up. We've already selected the DAC3152. We've entered our data rate of 500 meg. And we're currently showing a 10 megahertz tone. Let's create two tones um, at 10 and 20 megahertz. So enter our tone bandwidth of 10 megahertz. We want two tones, and we'll center the tones at 15 megahertz. That'll put the tone at 10 and 20. Keep the same number of samples. We'll keep it real, the same scaling factor. Now you can see there are two tones in our FFT. We zoom in. You can see one's at 10 megahertz and one's at 20 megahertz. And the time domain has been updated to show. We click send, and the output is on the, the scope. Now we can load a COM signal pattern. So we already have a pattern generated. We'll load that. We're in our data rate of 245.76 megahertz. You can see it's a COM signal centered at about 30 megahertz. Make sure you update your data rate and click send. Now we can see that on the spectrum. That's it for the advanced features of the DAC portion of the TSW1400 GUI. Stay tuned for more videos on your TSW1400.